my friend. Welcome to paradise. I am Baryonyx. No, wait, my friend. You leave too soon. Look around. Ah, take it all in. Yes, yes. Believe me, this won't last forever. Alas, only 80 million years. Come, come closer. We will talk, you and I. Oh, um, but you are, how do you say, freaked out by my strangeness? My claws disturb you? My long, tapered mouth? I know you are as fascinated by me being a fish eater as I am. You see, with these, I can scoop out my fish dinner from the water. <laughs> and with the 90 short teeth I have in my mouth, I can eat it up. Yum. Yes, I know, I am very unique. There were not many of us. So come, we will soak in the sun of this paradise I live in. <sighs> Smell the perfume of the very first flowering plants. Ah! See the first butterflies. Ah, yes, that's it. Come a little closer. You begin to understand why I love it here, yes? Fine, then go, go! There are other lungfish in the Cretaceous Swamp, you know? Just leave me be. But know this, you hurt me deeply. And now, I must stun myself. Gotcha. Scared you, didn't I? Well, that's because I'm an Afro-venator. That means African hunter. Pretty impressive, huh? But don't be worried. I won't hunt you. Watch me hunt that Jobaria. He won't see me coming and he'll be so scared. Oh, he's gone. Well, that's okay. I'm not that hungry. It wasn't like I was going to eat him in front of you. There really is no trick to hunting. You just have to look. Take that Chubaria, for example. He's huge. Very easy to spot. Perfect. But you know, you don't need to be 10 meters long with a mouthful of sharp teeth and three claws on each hand to be a hunter like me. For instance, you could hunt to find where in the world we are right now. Africa, that's right. There was also a clue in my name. Did you get that? Afro, meaning I'm from what's now known as Africa. Or you could hunt for fossils, like Paul Sereno, who found a nearly complete fossil of me in Niger in 1993. What a find! Someone who hunts for fossils is called a paleontologist. Ooh. Please excuse me. Gotcha. Come back and see me next week. I will teach you how to use your nails to comb your hair. Ah, you have come to the late Jurassic period in search of the great and powerful Compsonathus. That's Compsonathus. It's very easy if you practice. Ow! Hey, Bavariosaurus! Did you hear what they're saying about me? I am the number one land predator in these islands in the depth of sea. It's true! No dinosaur gets past me. Why, well, see these legs? They are long and slender, which helps me to run very, very fast. You are so full of hot air. I'm surprised you don't float away. Do you dare insult me, the mighty Gomsonathus? I can eat any lizard, dinosaur, or fish I want. Any one. I was the first complete dinosaur fossil that scientists could study. You, you see? see? Again, Again, I was I first. Was first. Num -num Number one. one. Bring in the size chart. Okay, so I'm on the small side. So what? I'm still number one. Excuse me while I go and show our friend why I'm number one. Oh, you think I cannot climb? Well, you are wrong. My bones, they're hollow like a bird's, which means I'm light. And, oh yeah, see this tail? It'll help me stay balanced. 
You can run, but you can't hide because I am the magnificent Compsonathus! All right, team. Here we are in the late Jurassic period, 150 million years ago. You know me, I'm Coach Stegosaurus. You can say my name. Stegosaurus! 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 That's the herbivore spirit? Okay, let's go over our equipment. Get in line. Great, let's see those plates. Now, that's not really enough armor, but they do make the carnivorous dinosaurs think twice about taking a bite out of us. These plates actually let us be warmer or colder, depending on how much we point them at the sun. Hey, an Allosaurus. Let's see those stagomizers. Yes, those stagomizers at the end of our tails are the real deal. Those spikes are up to 1.2 meters long. And we need them where we're from, what is now known as the Midwestern United States. In fact, we're Colorado State Fossil. All right, team. No one's gonna mess with us, right? Stegosaurus! 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 Rah, rah, rah! We're pretty big, the size of a bus. Are you ready, Stegosaurs? That's great, team. Stegosaurus! Stegosaurus! Have no fear, have no fear. The king of the dinosaurs is here. That would be me. Tyrannosaurus Rex, which actually means Tyrant Lizard King and well, that's me. <laughs> and did you know that a full-grown T-Rex, like myself, ta-da, is more than 12 meters in length? That's longer than a school bus. And when I stand up to my full height, I'm taller than a double-decker bus. The Tyrannosaurus Rexes weigh more than seven tons, you know. And I have the most beautiful teeth. Would you like to see them? Most vegetable-eating dinosaurs have small, bumpy teeth for chewing and grinding leaves and plants. But, well, you see, I am a carnivore. Uh, that means meat-eater, yum-yum-yum-yum-yum. And my teeth are perfect for, well, there's simply no other way to put this, for eating other dinosaurs. And the best part is once my teeth get a little worn down, they're automatically replaced. It really is a tremendous honor being king of the dinosaurs. 65 million years ago, we T-Rexes ruled the world, especially these parts of North America here. Well, I'd simply love to stay and chat with you all some more, but you see, my subjects need me, and I need them because it's lunchtime. Oh, dear. Ah! Ooh, don't sneak up on me like that. Give me a heart attack. Let me introduce myself. I am the Bipiaosaurus, and yes, I have feathers. I was flying there a second ago, looking for some plants to eat. Did you see? Okay, okay, well, maybe it was more like I fell out of the tree. But I did feel lift on my wings just before I hit the ground. Hard. Did you hear something? Because I definitely heard something. Ah! Oh, I do say, excuse the interruption. You don't have to hide. Really now, I'm the Microceratus, one of the smallest dinosaurs ever. What can I possibly do to you? They should have been named Chicken, not after Bai Piao, the city in China where they found the Bai Piaosaurus fossil. I am not a chicken. Just careful. Besides, would a chicken try to fly again? Huh? It's just mind over matter. I can do this. <laughs> Whoa, that's a long way down. 
Okay, so my feathers aren't made for flying. They're more like downy fibers, but they're still feathers, right? And I'm not super huge or anything. I'm only a little bit taller and heavier than a man. All I have to do is think positive. I am positive! <laughs> Well, hello there. I've never seen you before. Looking around the late Jurassic Forest, are we? Looking for a big dinosaur? Maybe like me? Well, you've come to the right place. I'm Diplodocus. Diplodocus. You found me. I'm kind of hard to miss, actually. Hmm, <laughs> I smell something yummy. Is it in here? As you can see, I'm pretty big and it's hard for me to get into tight places, but that's why I have this really long neck. So tasty. I love eating plants, all kinds of them. That's why they call me a herbivore. But being this big doesn't always make it easy. Hmm, how can I describe how big I am? seen my herd? They're easy to spot. Imagine, they're all big like me. I've been looking for them all afternoon. It's like they've been hiding from me. You know what else comes in handy? My front legs. See how they're shorter than the back ones? Having these types of legs helps me keep my balance. Watch! I also have these cool pig-like teeth that grow forward. They help me strip all sorts of plants and swallow them whole. Mmm, whatever that is, it smells so yummy. Hey, maybe that's my herd. Hey, what's the... Surprise! Oh, where'd it go? Aha, found it. How's it going, eh? And welcome to the late Cretaceous period, 70 million years ago. I'm Edmontosaurus. That's Edmontosaurus, eh? I just found the puck so I can keep playing dino hockey with my pal, Eddie. Do you know where I got my name from? It's pretty cool. I was named after the city Edmonton, which is in what's now Alberta in Canada, where I'm from. Check it out, eh? My hands are made for pitching and catching. Eddie and I are practicing before the big game with the rest of our herd. Eh? Oh, yeah. I'm the kind of dinosaur that can walk on two legs to get those really hard-to-reach leaves on trees. And four legs when I'm chasing Eddie. Do you see how long we are? As long as a sailboat. But we're pretty heavy. Almost four tons. You're probably wondering how I could eat with a duck bill, eh? Well, I have up to 60 rows of teeth in my cheeks, eh? Our teeth allow us to eat the hardest seeds and conifer needles with no trouble at all. Ugh, I don't eat meat. Only plants go in this mouth. I'd better get back to practicing. Ugesaurus. Have a good one, eh? <laughs> <laughs>